Hey guys, the Cessna Plane here, bringing you another Mac tutorial. Today we're going to talk about burn folders. Now you might think, well, what's the big deal? You just drag a file into the burn folder. Well, yes, it is very much that easy, but it could be quite dangerous if you are not aware of what actually happens when you drag a file or folder into the burn folder. So let me demonstrate. So let's select new burn folder. Let's just keep it called burn folder for now. And so let's just say I want to move my tools folder into the burn folder. Okay, so I'm going to pick this up and drag it. Now notice the icon that appears once you hover over the burn folder. Okay, what that icon means is it's going to create an alias. Okay, now what an alias is, so if we go into the burn folder, and you can see that it's an alias by that little arrow in the bottom left hand corner of the the icon. Now an alias is is a file that points to another file or folder. Okay. So what this means is in the burn folder it has an alias file pointing to the tools folder in my digital media volume. Okay. So if we actually now double click tools in the burn folder and let's just say I don't want to include my one password backup, okay? If I now delete this folder, I will actually be deleting it from my hard drive, not only from the burn folder, but also from the hard drive. You need to keep in mind that because as as I said before, whoops, yeah, burn folder, an alias points to the folder. So if I double click this, it goes into the actual tools folder on my digital media drive, okay? So what you would want to do is if you want to if you want to say burn everything except the one password folder, what you would need to do is you'd need to delete this alias from the burn folder, create a folder in the burn folder called tools, and then from there we drag these files into the tools folder of the burn folder and there you have it there's aliases pointing to every folder in my tools folder except one password so that's something just to to keep in mind it's uh, very easy to to delete a file in a burn folder from your hard drive so if you follow those steps you should be all good until next time have a good one